Now I'm joined now with Michael at Riverdean Garden Center and he's going to tell us a little bit about a growing trend I guess that you're seeing here at the Garden Center, uh, fairy gardens and also you have lots of succulents as well. Tell us I guess a little bit what's people's response, you know you have some pre-made uh, fairy gardens, what, what do people think about them? Well when people walk in, it's often for when they do walk in there, the first reaction is, they're like, oh, look at these, they're so cute, and you have to come see this thing, and yeah, and then they get their friends that were walking in and drag them over to look at them, and yeah. And the kids really like them. Um, whenever children come in, they just flock right to it and start playing around with them and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> now, uh, it was a trend kind of that started, I guess, here, um, you know, you started getting some supplies for the fairy gardens last year, but it's really grown this year. Tell us, I guess, a little bit about that and kind of how you prepared for, I guess, this season. Well, we had a little bit of a demand last year. It was kind of at the tail end of the season, but so that inspired my mom, who's the, uh, the ordering person here, to uh, look into it further. And so we got some supplies in over the winter and started brainstorming about what we could do with them all. And then the beginning part of this year, we just kind of put things together and uh, used our creativity and came up with some little creations based on uh, you know, some little houses and some little gnomes and we have miniature trees and that kind of thing. So yeah, you talked there about some of the supplies, I guess, that you need to do a fairy garden. Uh, yeah, what all kind of goes into it, you know, if you're wanting to do one yourself or you can also also buy one uh, mm -hmm. here that's already kind of done up but what's kind of all the supplies that you need to kind of put one together? Well for, for typical fairy garden I think you'll obviously need some kind of container to put it into. Um, some, some people use like an old wagon, some people use like you can buy a pot like a regular pot or an old pot and I've seen some done with uh, wheelbarrows. They'll fill up an old wheelbarrow and drill holes in the bottom and do that. And, uh, you can do them right in the ground in your garden in the corner somewhere if you want to. Um, for us though we have like a pot and then you just put some potting soil in it and then uh, every little maybe a little house uh, some figurines maybe some you know, a bridge or a chair or something and yeah and then you can put in some other kind of mosses or succulents and rocks and anything you can imagine lots of times with us what we do is we'll just kind of put a couple things into it and then we look for a story so we'll have maybe a gnome on a bridge and then we're like well where is he going and so then we will make a little thing over there like his house or something and then a little field or something a little garden so he's going from his house to his garden through the forest or something like that and so once you start building them the kind of ideas just start start coming right kind of this own little land and mm -hmm. kind of making up those ideas i guess the imagination part i guess yeah, hey? yeah. yeah. very neat uh, you also have lots of succulents here as well talk a little bit about those and kind of how they're kind of an easy care Oh, plant, I yeah, guess, yeah. Right? that's actually a really good point. If, you <laughs> if you're not much of a plant person, you want to have some plants around, especially indoors. Um, the succulents are totally the way to go. It's like uh, they're really, really low maintenance. Um, they're mostly from kind of desert environments, and so they don't need a lot of water. Um, yeah, and that's kind of what we have them set up for here is just for easy care, takeaway kind of thing. You can have it sitting on your desk and water it once a month or a couple times a year even for some of them. Mm -hmm. No, that's great. Well, thanks so much for joining us today, Michael. And uh, still lots, lots of supplies here, I guess, for people um, oh, yeah. to pick up, uh, depending on what they want to do. Uh, go with the plants, go with the succulents, or, you know, have some imagination and uh, make a fairy garden. 